대한민국 사랑해. 헤이 가이즈 하우즈 고잉 투데이 즈 보이 렛츠 고 비 존스 앤 투데이 I want to tell you guys why I came to Korea For some reason I keep getting this question in the comments a lot So I feel like I should answer it truthfully and honestly It's kind of weird because sometimes I'll get asked this on television And then there's like the television meaning and then there's like the real meaning I'll be super duper honest with you guys for the main reason why I came to Korea The main reason why I came to Korea was I wanted a a change in life and a different lifestyle. So if you guys didn't know, back home, I was a scientist. I got an associate's bachelor and a certificate in biotechnology. I used to make medicine and things like that. Originally after college, I was struggling to find a job. I couldn't pay my student loans. So I was actually going to join the Air Force. So when I went to the recruitment office, they were like, oh, you have a degree, so you can only be an officer and I only deal with enlisted. So you need to like email this guy. So then when I emailed the guy and I, I wrote like a heartfelt message to this guy, like, hey, I don't know what I'm doing in my life, blah, 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 like a heartfelt message and I put my soul into it. The recruiter guy literally just copy and pasted a message back to me to all like the 20 people in it and it was literally was just like hello cadet please arrive at 1223 location at this time to join the air force and then we'll leave and go on a bus and i was like nope i think i have so many friends in the military like i love them to death if that guy was more personal to me I probably would have joined the Air Force. And then a week later, I ended up getting my first job. I worked in the clean room nine years ago. The pay I was getting was really good and the work was fun. My coworkers were fun, but I had really bad management. I hated my boss. I had like one manager who was like super cool, but I wasn't part of his team. And then I had like the worst manager in my life. Every minority that worked under these two ladies quit and or transferred to the other manager. I remember like one thing that frustrated me was like me and another girl started the same day. My degree for four years was in this learning how to make medicine with my hands. The other girl, her degree was just in standard biology. She got put on projects. I got put on cleaning duty. I had every training canceled. Yeah, that's, that's how it was. Like there was things like I was getting in trouble for and then like, oh my gosh, why did you do this thing? Okay, yeah, the pregnant lady with twins has to carry this 30 pound machine from room to room 12 times. She's going to the hospital right now. I'm gonna go do it and then yelled at me for it. And then the other manager sends like a company-wide email and says like, Brandon, thank you so much. You saved us thousands of dollars because you set up the rooms. And I was just like, yeah, I'm out. Like, this manager is super cool. This manager is really bad. But anyway, because of all that stress that I was getting, it affected my mental health. I was usually a happy-go-lucky person. It just changed my personality, affected my relationships. It affected a lot of stuff in my life. I, I was like Dr. Jekyll and Hyde. And I'll be honest with that. I was like, flip a switch. I was Dr. Jekyll and Hyde. And I had to get out of that place. So I ended up quitting, went to like a new company. Greatest company in the world. Best company in the world. I love that company. I would have stayed there, but then I uh, went to the Korea thing. It was the greatest job. Like, it was so chill. My coworkers are so cool. I was a contractor, but they treated me like an employee, and they pretty much were like, Brandon, you should apply here. And I was just like, nah, I'm gonna go move to Korea. That job was amazing. It was great. I ended up making, like, reagent kits, testing kits. So as an example, to put it in perspective right now, the first company would have been, hey, I'm making the vaccine, while the second company would be like, hey, we're making making the, the PCR test. Anyway, uh, fast forward, main reason was like, hey, I want to get a PhD. Getting a PhD takes five to 10 years, two to three years studying, and then it could take up to 10 years studying. So as a dumb 21, 22 year old, I said, hey, if I get my PhD, I'm gonna be 30, 30 now. As soon as I finish, I gotta get married, I gotta have a kid, I gotta have a baby, my life's over, I'm never gonna travel. I wanna go do something different with my life. So then I remember one of my best mates, I went to middle school, I went to high school, I went to college with this guy. I ended up visiting his house because he was living by the, the college still. He was working at GameStop still. We graduated together. I was getting big boy money and he was still getting like our retail money. This is my boy. And he, he told me, he's like, I'm going to move, man. I was like, what you going to do? I'm going to do either three things. He said, I'm going to do Jet, which is teaching Japan. I'm going to do Epic, which is teaching Korea. Or I'm going to do Teach for America or something, which was like teaching an underprivileged area in America. And he said, if I get into the American program, I'm going to the American 
no matter what. But if I only get into the Asian programs, I'm going to Asia. So I said, what's Epic? So then I started looking up the difference between Jet and Epic. Jet, it's a much harder program to get into. Epic was a much easier program to get into. And as an American, we didn't learn much about Korea. Like as an American, we really grew up with Japanese animation and like Chinese food. That's like the majority of an extent of a American cultural horizons of Asia is really is, right? Just being honest. I had friends that were Korean. One of my best mates is Korean. We used to play WoW every day. Every night I was at this man's house, we were playing World of Warcraft. I had me some little kimchi, but I didn't know what kimchi was. But it was this like, end up looking up the Epic program and I was like, oh, this is a pretty cool program. What's Korea? Start diving into the culture, into the music. Okay, the hip hop's kind of cool. The soju, okay, the women. Oh, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Fast internet. Okay, let me give it a try. So I ended up applying to the Epic program. I ended up getting into the Epic program and I ended up coming to Korea. I mean, that's kind of also how I ended up in Sangju. Like a lot of people said, how do you end up in Sangju? I just remember my um, recruiter guy was just like, yo, Gyeongsang Bukdo has a lot of great colleges here and it's a really good college area. So I said, yeah, I'm gonna go teach English in Korea for one year and then I'm gonna do the KGSP program and then I'm gonna get my PhD in Korea and speak Korean and I'm gonna be a big old scientist working for Samsung. And that didn't happen. <laughs> that didn't happen at all, okay? My life totally changed. You know, I got into modeling, well, I moved to Seoul, and then I started teaching a little bit, and that didn't go well. I started modeling, and that's a whole nother story. That's pretty much why and how I moved to Korea. I had a crappy job, good job, wanted a life change. I moved to Korea, worked in Sangju for two years, then I moved to Seoul, worked in Seoul for a bit, and then I got into modeling, and now we're here. That is just like the quick version and the real honest reason why I came to Korea. Originally, I just moved here because like, I get paid to travel and teach, but I ended up really liking the job. I met a lot of good people, a lot of, I met a lot of good friends, but I'm really grateful that Korea has that kind of program that you can just come here and work legally. If I never came here, I wonder how my life would be. It would probably be totally different. And I'm very happy where I am now. Modeling makes me happy, acting makes me happy. So I'm very happy and glad that just going to my one friend's house that one day changed my life. That is why I moved to Korea, just for a lifestyle change. It was great and I'm happy. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and leave in the comment below why you want to move to Korea. And if you do live in Korea, what do you do and why did you move here? Anyways, you guys, take care and fighting!